Hi everyone, good morning. I'm excited to share my new brushes with you. Look at how beautiful they are. I'm using them this morning to create this very soft, natural look. So if you want to see how I got this look, just continue to watch. And don't forget, press like and subscribe. Good morning everybody. I'm so excited to share with you what arrived for me. Oh, let me show my cupboard. Oh. My new brushes from Carrie Lou. It arrived in a black box. So I ended up opening it for you. It was wrapped in this lovely black and pink paper. And um, this is what it looks like. I was so happy to receive this. It's engraved with her name right here. Carrie Lou. Carrie Lou. That's her name. Carrie Lou. And... The packaging this it's so soft it's, it's lovely and I like it because it lays flat so when I travel and I pack it it's not bulky or anything so then when I open it they all come like this all the brushes so when I lift it these are all the brushes all of them give you a few seconds there to look at them all of them and people um, I have used before receiving I've already been using her brushes I've been using frequently um, oh, I just had them in my hand my first purchase of carried brushes were this one this is the one oh, where's the number 111 that was one of my first purchase and I love them it's the one I grabbed lately a lot for. So that's why I'm pleased that um, she sent me the whole entire set. And the pencil brush. I love her. This one's a little bit dirty now, but I have the, the clean one there. Um, this is the number 114 pencil brush. And all her brushes come with her name, Carrie Lou, on them. I'm not sure if you could focus on it. We'll leave it there to see if it focuses because sometimes my camera decides not to behave. See? So we'll see how the camera behaves. Sometimes it behaves, sometimes it don't. So I'll be doing, um, I'm going to use all my brushes today, um, including my eyebrows. Um, I'm sorry, this might be a long video, so forgive me. So um, the sh makeup I'll be using, well, I was going to do something very dramatic, and then I received... Um, an email from one of my followers saying that how come she doesn't wear like dramatic makeup so how about something soft so I'm going to go um, soft natural looking to, let's see what's gonna happen because I like playing with makeup so I'm going to use the palette that I got from Anastasia it's a quad that you get to choose you go and get to choose the, the colors you want so they all pop out. So this is the colors I'll be using today. Okay, from Anastasia. Um, and then I'm going to use my new highlighter from Too Faced. Oh, sorry for the glare. It's from Too Faced. And this is what I'll be using today as a highlighter. Look at that. Oh, how amazing is that? So that's what I'm going to use for my highlighter today. So, I don't have nothing on my face. Usually, I have my eyebrows done, my face, but I'm going to go, um, instead of a full foundation, I'm going to only cover my imperfections for today. Okay, I'm going to keep my face not too heavy or anything like that. So, with that said, let's begin. I am going to start prepping um, my skin with a little bit of foundation. I'm going to use my Avon Jade foundation. So, with that, so I'm just going to pump a little bit on my face. Like I said, I'm only going to cover some imperfections. I'm going to go all full blown. And I'm going to use the foundation brush 106. This is what it looks like. The quality of these brushes are amazing, people. So I'm so I can't, I'm so happy to to try these. Now, look at I have um psoriasis, so I have like red blotches on my face. So I'm going to cover those area. And don't forget I told you many times how blind I am. So I'm going to use a mirror. 
it's eyeing. No eyeing. So I'm covering all the dark circles. Oh, I like the way this feels. The brush is amazing. Just to even out my skin a little bit today. Then right here I get red, so I'm going to go there a little bit. Just to even it out. So I know it's early in the morning. I had trouble sleeping. Like I said, I was sweating. Gross, gross. Sorry. If it grossed you out. I also have an Instagram page. It's um, also Beauty Diagonal 67. And for those who are starting to follow me, 67 is the year I was born in. Oh, That's so 49. So, yeah. So I'm going on this side just to even up my skin, some blemishes, because I started going out to the gym. And I'm breaking out. I'm not so happy with that. Getting these corners here. I like the brush because it's angled, so I could get these little corners here. So that's genius. And I like the way it feels. Like I've had foundation brush, and when I start using them, I don't like them. So this is really nice. Very, very nice. See, like I'm doing, I'm just trying to even out my skin. I'm doing even up my skin. Then I'm gonna go back with um some concealer because I got that circles I could not sleep last night because <laughs> I'm that. I'm that. So I'm just trying to even up my skin. I still have dark circles, I'm sorry, I can't cut you know. There's a lot of girls that just put a lot of stuff under their eyes and when you're my age, you can't put a lot of stuff under your eyes, like like a lot of concealer. This, you're just going to emphasize all that, and I don't want to emphasize. So I am going to use... I don't want to use this one. This is the Wet n Wild. This might be too light. So we'll see. Mm. We'll see. That's the Wet n Wild Concealer. Hmm. I, I was afraid because I have two of them, one light and one kind of a medium, me, light medium. But this is the light one, the ivory one. But you know what? When you have dark circles, I'm going to use them. Be careful you don't poke out your eye. There. I kind of like that. Love this brush. You know how me, I get excited. So now I am going to set my whole entire face. Um, first of all, let me use a primer on my eye. This is going to be a long day today. I'm going to use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Portion. Potion. Can't even talk. And for anti aging. Yeah. We thought about us. Thank you, Urban Decay for thinking about us ladies so can I have to corner it here because I don't want any foundation nothing going in my eye so I'm just spraying that I gotta keep track of time because I gotta be somewhere I I gotta leave at 8.30 and it's 6.16 in the morning so there my skin's primed gotta get a little pink towel here wipe my fingers Okay, so I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to set my face with MAC, MAC Studio um, Defining Powder. And this is the shade Medium. I like it because I have like a little soft shimmer, so it's not fully matte. I like the way it feels. So I'm going to use 
my the Mary um, Carrie Lou Mary Carrie Lou 101 powder brush I'm gonna use that this is what it looks like it feels so nice so I'll be using that the quality of the handle are amazing very good and ladies if you take care of your brushes or gentlemen who are because just in case you're a makeup artist um, take care of your brushes they will last you forever I'm telling you and I'm just glad this came in a beautiful case so I'll be able to um, make it last so I'm just dusting this over my face where I put all the foundation foundation at because ladies and I also take care of my skin if you're new to my channel I love makeup and you're gonna see my other videos but I also take care of my skin like crazy because if your skin is not taken care of you exfoliate on a regular basis your makeup doesn't go on well and like I mentioned you're probably gonna get sick of me saying this but I'm 49 so my skin doesn't look that bad because I've seen other ladies are 49 and they've never taken care of their skin so that shows I like this powder because it sets my makeup but also gives me a nice glow. I'll change my arrows here. So now I'm going to do my eyebrows. And her line has a brush with a spoolie. And this is, and all the brushes have a number. So this is 116, Carrie Lou 116. So I'm going to use the spoolie. And brush up my eyebrows. I gotta tweeze my eyebrow. I'm trying to let them grow, so I go to um, Ulta and they kind of wax my eyebrows so I could let them grow. So they're 118. So I'm gonna be using the 118 from my eyebrows. See, it's like angled, it's tiny and angled. So I'm gonna be using that for my eyebrow, and I'll be using the NYX um, eyebrow kit. So I'll be using that for my eyebrows and I'm going to gently fill in, not, nothing dramatic. Um, so I'll be doing that. Because a lot of people, oh my god, your eyebrows are so nice, what do you do? And I sometimes use the Cabral, which is this one, the Cabral. But for today, I'm doing it, I'm trying to do a very natural look as much as I possible I can. But then you know me, sometimes I forget I'm going there and end up doing a full face. So do you see what I'm doing? I'm, I'm lining my natural arch with the NYX um, eyebrow powder. Then I go on the top. To shape it up. And then gently fill. See, it's already taking shape just with this. Gently fill the, I call it ball spots. Some people say sparse spots, but you know, I call it ball spots. So you could tell the difference taking shape. Then I brush the front up because I want it natural looking. Look at the difference. Look at that. Doesn't that look cool? And this brush, this brush is amazing. It's it's amazing for my bra. You saw how I did that. This was perfect. I love that brush. Now I am going to set my primer with this color here. Okay, and I'm going to use the brush, the all over. I brush 111 my favorite brush look how beautiful when it's clean my my mine's all dirty see <laughs> but I'm going to use this one to set all my primer my color just to set it Just set my eye makeup. I'm doing a wedding in 
um, October. So, my towel fell. That's the one I use to clean my brushes in between. So, after setting my um, powder, I'm going to use the same brush because I did a video and I used this brush and did it in multiple angles. So, I'm going to use the other color, which is this color here, for all over my eye. Even my eyelid. This is such a pretty color, guys. This is good when you're looking for a soft look. This is really nice. I just love this the make sure everything's okay. Want, now I'm gonna um, use the same brush. I have a small brush. Let me see. I have. I have the, um, in the kit there's a 108, it's this one, but I'm going to stay with, you know what, I'm going to use the angle brush, hold on, I also have an angle brush from her, um, this is the brush 110, 110, so slightly angled, so I'm going to use that one, this is the brush again, 110, I'm going to go for this darker shade here, and just, just gentle, just a little bit, not a lot. I'm gonna go in this corner here. Not a lot, cause I want I want this look to be natural. So I'm just going in the corner there. Just in the corner. You see what I'm doing? You see the difference? Just to open up the eye a little bit, and then blend. Just blend inward. And look at the difference, just that little bit made. Make sure you blend. You don't want no harsh lines. Make sure they're even. This one came a little bit darker, but that's okay. I'm gonna go back. Gotta make it even. I know what I did. I ended up putting it on my um because I'm starting to form a hooded eye. Because you know you age and I'm gonna go back with the other brush. And I'm going to blend that in because it's a bigger brush. It's not angle, but it's also still amazing to blend. Now, this is what I created. Now, today I'm not wearing um, I had a re re record section of my video because I didn't realize my camera stopped recording. So, like I was saying, on my lid, I'm placing this color and I'm using the same brush, Carrie Lou 111, on my lid. This on the lid, and this is such a beautiful color. Very pretty. It's very pretty, as you can see. See the difference? Really nice. It's a very soft shimmer. Love it. I'm gonna get closer so you can see. See the colors that I have there? It's very natural. Very pretty. Very very pretty. Hmm. Very nice. So I did place this color under my, like I, I um, mentioned earlier, I use um, the pencil brush to go under my eye with that color. Just to bring it out. Very soft, very natural. See? It kind of brings out the color of my eyes. I already put this under, but I'm going to, just because I had a little bit fallout from the shimmer on the top. Look how pretty and natural that looks. Hmm. 
I do put mascara on like I mentioned I had a re-record section because I didn't realize the end of my video was recorded so and this is so soft now I'm going to keep this soft look now I am going to go I want to try I can't speak my new powder that I mentioned earlier in the video in the beginning <gasps> it's blinding so I'll be using that but first I want to bronze a little bit my face and the bronzer I be new I'm going to use is from Wet n Wild um, the Wet n Wild Megalo contouring palette so this is what it looks like I like it so what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the Carrie Lou 103 you see yeah 103 um, brush 103 brush it's a perfect size for contouring so like I say you gotta be very care very careful um, it's better to start light and then build so I'm going to because I want this to look natural not too overly done and up here this one looks so pale very soft change mirrors <sighs> right here see that natural contour then of course I blend in and of course this brush is the perfect size for that too be creative with your brushes you could use them many ways you don't have to use a blush brush only for a blush brush you don't have to use a powder blush only for a powder blush <laughs> seriously then after I contour, make sure I'm blending in. Um, gotta tackle my double chin. Keeping it natural. Just creating that natural shadow that we already naturally have. I'm just emphasizing a little, a little bit. Now my nose, I am going to use Carrie's brush in the number um, 108, this is what it looks like, to contour my nose. So, and I'm going to do that very carefully because this is very pigmented, this brush from, um, by, um, Don't worry, it's not going to stay like this. I'm going to blend it. Don't panic. Then I'm going to clean my brush in between. I usually clean my brushes in between. And I start blending it in. Taking it up here because we want to create a very natural um, contouring. Very natural. And I could skip this because my nose is not that big. But I just like the way it looks. Now I'm going to go over with the fluffy brush from earlier. And just go in the middle to and it will soften that up for me see softened it up so it didn't have to go very dramatic now with that done i'm going to add blush and the blush i am going to use is from also wet and wild and this is the rose champagne rose champagne from wet and wild it's very soft and lovely so i'm going to use that with um carrie lou's brush 102 and the 102 I used it earlier today when I was recording which I thought I was recording so usually I look but I didn't want to do that this morning so yeah it didn't record very gentle I'm putting the blush there and again I'm not using eyeliner today so there that's the very nice soft you could go lighter with the bronzing or you could skip the contouring all together um, so you could do that all together now I am going to 
I'm going to use my... Hmm, this is amazing. So I am going to use the brush 105. It's a fan brush. So I'm going to use that to apply my um, highlighter. I'm going to use that to apply my highlighter. So I'm going to go right here so you can see it. Now I'm going, I didn't put a lot because I'm trying to keep it soft at the same time. So there it goes. Natural glow right there. Put some right here in the orange. Very soft. You can see it. See? Very soft. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Very soft. Very soft. It's a very pretty color. Some up here, not a lot. And I'm gonna dip it right here, the angle of my um, brush like this. Go like that, and then right down my nose. See, right down my nose. A little bit in the forehead. A little bit in my chin. Usually, where when you take a picture, very lightly. I keep this bow right here. Very lightly. I take my ring finger just right here. Right there. Blend it. So cool looking. At. Now I'm going to use a different brush here because I want to, and this brush is very tiny, so it's perfect. It's the 113 by Carrie. It's very um, very soft brush, very, very soft, but perfect for the inner corners of my eyes. But first, I'm going to emphasize also on the top right here, just to highlight a little bit right here under the brow bone. And then the inner corners of my eyes. The inner corners right there. See that pop? Look at the difference. Amazing. Amazing. Wow, this is so pretty. Very pretty. The natural glow. Very, very nice. Hmm. So everyone, and then I'm going to follow with a soft lip gloss. Rosy lip gloss. Not too much, not too. This is the color is an lip in catwalk by beauty control. Catwalk by beauty control. Because I want to keep this simple. Ah, oh, it smells so good. Very glossy. There. Now, if we get invited to a dinner or a date or something like that, all you have to do is go darker in the corner, add eyeliner or whichever. So I already had, like I mentioned before, I was recording and didn't realize I didn't finish recording. So I had to turn the camera back on. So I did have mascara on, so I'm just going to go lightly again. Just to... Bring everything I did together. Or, and again, like I mentioned, if you get invited somewhere, just put some fake eyelashes on or something. But for this look, I was planning to put some eyelashes on, but I, I'm, I'm not. I'm going to keep it simple. And I know I don't got eyelashes. So I apologize for that. So I'm putting this one coat. And I'm done. This is the look I created using my new brushes by Carrie Lou. I will link her website on the bottom so you can further explore the brushes as well as her Instagram so you can see her work. Um, so please contact me. Give this video a thumbs up. This is the look that I created with... Um, natural look that I created with the brushes so I hope you enjoyed again thumbs up press 
the bell so you could receive further notifications um, when I post another video. So this is the look I created. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. I'm sorry people, you know I'm 49 and I have UC flashes. <gasps> he flashes, yeah. I'm full blown now, I'm sorry, I admit it. For you who are my age following me, you know I'm going to win if you're not, you're young, I'm sorry for traumatizing you. Um, I'm gonna just... Oh, can I block you? I'm so sorry. Okay. My hair's falling out, I got this in my hair all over my face. Okay, okay so now, I'm going to do... My eyebrows.